Okay, so the next question, we've got this quadrilateral, and it says ABCD is a quadrilateral. The region R is defined as the set of points inside ABC, ABCD that are closer to AB than AD, and closer to point D than C. Okay, so here we've got AB and AD, so let's have a look at AB and AD. So here we've got AB and AD. Now it says this is going to have to be closer to AB than AD. So it has to be closer to this side than this side. So what you would do then is construct the angle by sector. So you'd construct the angle by sector, draw your angle by sector, and anything on this side of the angle by sector would be closer to this line than this line. So let's do that. So get your compass, uh, put it on A. Watch the video on angle by sectors if you need a recap. Uh, do one arc on the line here, one arc on the line here. Keeping the compass the same size, or I normally keep the same size, actually maybe a bit longer actually in this case. Um, then arc towards the middle, switch over, then arc towards the middle, and where they cross and you join up with A will be the angle bisector. We're going to need to extend this line obviously because it's, it's got to be within the quadrilateral, so we're going to need to go further than where just joining it up. So. Fantastic. So, anywhere on the left-hand side of this line is closer to AB than AD. If it's on the line, it's equidistant. It's the same distance from both of these lines, okay? And if you wanted to be closer to this side than the side, which we don't, it would be this region that you would shade. Okay, let's carry on with the question. It says, it's closer to point D than to point C. Okay, so point D and point C. Okay, so it's going to be closer to point D than point C. So because we've got two fixed points, we're going to construct uh, the perpendicular bisector, so the straight line in the middle. And whenever we construct that, anything to the left-hand side of the line will be closer to D than it would be to C. So let's do that. So to find the points closer to D than C, we're going to have to do the perpendicular bisector for this line, DC. So watch the video on perpendicular bisectors if you can't remember how to do those. So get your compass. Set it over halfway with your pencil, do an arc above the line and below the line. I've actually done one large arc. Okay, so normally a bit above and a bit below. Turn to the other side to part point C. And again, an arc below the line and above the line. Okay, so if you get your ruler and your pencil, if you draw a line through where these arcs intersect, It'll cut the line CD exactly in half. Or is she going to carry that line on there? So we join from there to there up in a straight line. It's cut that line DC exactly in half. But let's carry it on because it's going to be within the quadrilateral. Okay. So we've cut the line DC in half. Anything to the left is closer than D. And it also had to be closer to the side AB than uh, AD, so it had to be closer, it had to be this side of the angle bisector. So it's going to be anywhere in this region here, okay? Because it's closer to D than C and closer to AB than AD. So what we do is it sits here, you um, construct uh, accurately the region R, label the region clearly with the letter R. So we put an R in this region, and uh, that shows that that region is the region that satisfies the rules given. Now we've got a real life question. It says, two lifeboats uh, stations A and B receive a distress call from a boat. The boat is within six kilometers of A and within eight kilometers of B. Shade the possible region in which the boat could be. I notice it gives you a scale, one centimeter is one kilometer. So for this you're gonna need your compass and pencil and you're also gonna need a ruler to measure the distances. So six kilometers will be six centimeters. So get your compass I mark six centimeters with your pencil or measure measure your compass and ruler so it's six centimeters apart. And you've got to be very accurate with that. Okay. So we've got six centimeters and it says the boat is within six centimeters from station A. So here the land part is darker and the white part here is the sea. So, 6 centimetres from A, well, because it's from one given point, you're going to do a circle around A. 
like so. So the boat could be anywhere in this region. Uh, I've got a feeling it's probably at sea, so it's going to be in the white region here, okay? It won't be on land. Okay, now it says that it's eight kilometers from station B. So what we're going to do now is measure our uh, compass so that's now eight centimeters, because it's eight kilometers from B. Okay, so we've got eight centimeters this time. We're going to put it on B, and we're going to draw another circle around B. Okay, so anywhere inside of this circle means that it's within six kilometers from A. Anywhere within this circle here, it means it's within eight kilometers from B. The bit in the middle, this part here, will actually be anywhere that satisfies both of those rules. And given the boat's probably at C, it means it's going to be in this part. It says shade the region, so let's shade here. The region in here. So that's anywhere that satisfies both of those rules. Let's try another example now. Okay, this time it says show on the diagram all the points inside the triangle that are more than five centimeters from each vertex, each corner of the triangle. You must clearly show your construction arcs. So, this time it's gonna be outside of the circle. Because it's a given distance from a point, okay, it's gonna be a circle, you need to make sure that it's five centimeters. So get your ruler, measure five centimeters on your protractor, on your compass, sorry. So five centimeters, perfect. And it's gonna be further than five centimeters from each corner, so, there's one arc. There's another arc. And there's a final arc. So anywhere within these arcs are, is closer than five centimeters. Anything outside of the arcs is further than five centimeters. And because it says that it's uh, inside of the triangle, then this is in the region here, R.